hello friends as per the thumbnail you understand what's the video what's what's the related video is so i'm just creating a bucket here so bucket name like i just mentioned as website faz akram.com i i'm not changing anything else over here it's just all default i just mentioned over here this and default like you know aws origin if you choose this origin then it will cost lesser so north virginia is a lesser cost okay i'm just creating a bucket over here and not changing anything else and let me show you the angular file what's the local host 40880 the basic i just checking the routing here and also the rest call because it is a rest call it's a HTTPS REST call. Okay, I'm just checking the routing is working or not and login in the login page. That's just I'm putting the uh, REST call and, and then show the data over here. So you can just basic information. So I'm just coming up here. I'm just going inside website fazakram.com, upload, add files, go inside there. Where is my download? Let me check the desktop might be this is the app login it's all files I download here I have already created a using ng build prod ng build I'll put the, this command if you uh, like if you go inside the moment inside here uh, you can just control C ng build hyphen hyphen prod so then this file will be generated in the test directory you just copy all the test files so i just copied here and uh, opening to the firefox and uploading here okay i just upload all the files if you have a folder like assets folder so add your folder from here like add folder and the assets folder and select the assets folder and upload and there will be a pop-up here so you just just click over the ok so i don't have any folder right now so just uploading here and please let me know if you like you know any kind of issue to uh, to work with like s3 and with a low and with a fr uh, cloud friend so i'll help you out so just I'm closing it no need to use a private public bucket I just as a default private bucket you can see in the permission so uh, the bucket is uh, still private okay we are not going to change anything else else over here I just uh, mistake the website yeah so no worries about that so I'm just opening the cloud front cloud front I clicked over here Okay, I have already running two of them so I'm just creating one more it's choosing the bucket but what I have created just the bucket name I have added over here click over the yes and click cre create new and click over here yes update the bucket policy and no need to change anything else over here just go down and select the root directory and the root file index.html create your distribution distribution is going to create it and set the error page over here what you need to do is like 403 error page yes just to mention like you know the maximum is 300 i just set over here index dot html and i just marked as okay okay so let's wait it's deploying a stage so let's wait few of minutes it is under the deploying stage it will take hardly one minute and um, like, like you know if, if you are if you are still like facing any issue so just put me in comment I'll, I'll let you know and I'll connect over the call as well you according to your message if you are high priority issue like you know you are unable to resolve that so I'll help you out so the, the basic funda is no need to your bucket should be private because you know a bucket 
won't be public uh, everyone can access that but you can access through the cloud front just just deploying here da -da -da -da. just checking because it will notify here last deployment it will show a date time once it deployed so it's taking time So the same thing will be open make sure uh, may, because uh, you know like in in origin like I mentioned the default one if you're one moment, not the origin behavior in the behavior if you have fully HTTPS uh, address so then you can choose a redirect HTTP to HTTPS but if you're if your REST API is non-HTTP, like you know, like currently my in my case, uh, like you can see in my case, in my case it's uh, the REST API is available on HTTPS, then it will work. But if it is not available over the HTTPS, then it won't work to choose this one. So. Uh, so so not to like my in my case i can redirect these two okay okay and then uh, if i if your case like the api is not in https then not to choose this one redirect to this one so by default you can choose this one both will work so let's see the cloud front i think the service will up general yeah the service up copy this one and this thing here da -da -da, it's running you can see the data is coming and you can also run this one over HTTP because you know I didn't change to like HTTPS but in case of your uh, the rest api is not in https then it won't work so make sure choose accordingly thank you so much have a great